Welcome to hole number one of the Bigfoot Nine Hole Cup. We're playing here on the Grunberg Slopes for the first hole, and I'm setting up with an extra mile and a Titan. I got four and a half bars of topspin, and as you can see, we're playing this one down the right-hand side. Now, there's more than one way that you can play this, depending on the level of your clubs and maybe your level of aggression. You could certainly use a power five ball here and a bigger club and try to max OP and get it down there. You can do the same thing on the left-hand side but I have found a high degree of consistency playing the hole this way. And hey, even if you hit a little great ball, which, uh, you know, could be catastrophic with max overpower, this one seems to play nicely, quite safely, and gets us right down the middle of the fairway. Now, second shot then, we are playing with a wood club. Sniper typically is the play here for me. Three bars of backspin, and we're going to adjust this shot at 30% maximum distance. Now, I do have that ball guy. You'll see quite a bit diminished because it's a only level six sniper not a level seven so i do have that like three squares short or so uh just as a little bit of a estimation but i think your sniper seven should be well in this kind of tailwind that ball guide will maybe just be you know one square before the hole nothing too too much this is playing quite a bit downhill so with tailwind it'll come in really hot so you do want to make sure you manage your backspin and you know practice these shots guys like this is a guide that's made before the tournament and i'm going to show you a lot of drops uh spoiler one right now uh, and i just want you to have the best possible chance to get set up and get those w's in the tournament all right so hole number two we're stepping into the maple bay course setting this up with a titan and a quarterback you could play a kingmaker here three top and i've got two bars of right spin now what we're going to do is have that red ring on the right rough and take a quick look at where that second bounce is it's just before the rough there at the end of the fairway i make my adjustment at 10 percent max and we are going to give this one about a ball to a ball and a half of right curl depending on the level of your clubs it might just be max and in the in those right to left crosswinds, this one might actually require a kingmaker, but otherwise I try to get away just having that Titan ball. So then second shot here, you're going to play it with your sniper club. You're going to see a lot of sniper shots in this video, and it's really going to depend on the drive distance. Take a look at where my white ring is, top left of the white ring. See, I was just about touching the rough there, and I've got that third bounce right on the fringe. In this scenario, it plays very, very well to give it just about a half a bar of topspin. Just keep in mind that we're going to have to make our adjustments according to the tournament wins. So this is a very, very awesome opportunity, though. This is one of those holes that I've dropped quite a few times. And, hey, it's going to be a cool tournament. We're definitely going to have to spend a lot of big balls to get there. But I hope in this video you can see that you can basically succeed at the, the rookie level anyway. We'll see you on number three. So hole number three, this one is played on the Sequoia Creek course. I'm setting up with an APOC level one, three left, three and a half bars of topspin. You could just go three bars of topspin here. You'll see how close I come to the rough. This shot can also be played with the quarterback, and I think most players would play it with the quarterback, but I think it's fun here. If you have just unlocked the APOC, you don't typically get a lot of use out of it, and this is the kind of drive where we just need to use some curl. So there's other choices that you could use as well. Um, I just thought it would be fun to include an APOC in a rookie video. And I get it. Not everybody's going to have one. Go, like I said, lots of curl here as much as your quarterback's got or about a ball and a half, depending on the wind angle here with the APOC. And like I said, three top would have been enough. Uh, but three and a half, it'll play just fine. Now, I'm bringing the horizon here on the second shot, specifically because of the fact on this account, I do not have the distance nor the top spin on the sniper you want about five bars of topspin here two and a half bars of left. and then you get a very nice look at a rough bump you could certainly bounce this ball from the fairway at the top down to the green uh it really just depends on on what you want to do so i played that first drive at 10 percent max elevation second shot here 10 percent max elevation we'll make our clean pull here and you know we're, we're landing on a slope so the outcome of this shot sometimes is a little bit inconsistent. Uh, spoiler, this is one of the few in the video that we don't actually drop, but I really believe that this is an excellent way to play hole number three. And it's certainly the way that I would be giving it a go, playing it from the front tee. As you can see here, it's not like we missed by much. Zooming in, kissing the edge, 360 degrees around the cup. We'll see you on number four. All right, so welcome to hole number four. Playing the drive here, 10% max with a Titan and a quarterback. The reason I chose this quarterback is for accuracy. Going to set it up with one top and two bars of left spin. The half 
that clear ring there you can see in the right hand rough at maximum distance now that's with the quarterback seven keep that in mind so like i said about one top two left just get this one down the middle now the thing about this hole is that i'm actually going to have to play a bit of overpower on the second shot and that's because even with the horizon we're not quite going to have the full distance that we need to set the shot up the way that we want it now so then that's the thing for you to decide you might want to use a power five ball play this drive exactly the same and then you'll have a nicer setup here on on the second play so second shot then like i said horizon we're gonna play it at 10 percent max this is what i call adjusting and overpower so we're gonna stretch it out set the spin max top two bars of right spin okay so stretch it out where you're gonna find this ball guide boom just like that down to the pin you see how we need about two rings of push-up so we're gonna go ahead and make our 10 percent max adjustment here so we're gonna make our adjustment bump 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 and here we go pulling beautiful okay so then now we have to push up we need those two rings right so as i push up we're only going to get about one and a half push up before we hit overpower so now we need about a half a ring of overpower here as you can see guys if you're getting value from these videos please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel don't miss out on all the live tournament golf clash content and tour play and boy, I'm looking forward to this one in the live play. Come on, baby, get in the hole. We'll see you on number five. Hole number five, once again, another very good opportunity. I've got an extra mile five, and I'm using a katana ball here, uh, using maximum top spin and about two and a half to three bars of left spin, depending on the wind that you have to play with. At max distance here, we got half that blue ring in the rough, and we're really just looking to get this thing nicely down the middle of the fairway and a little bit to the left. So because of the trees on the right being in play, you do need to give yourself a decent angle of approach for that second shot. And the second shot, you're going to see the spin set that we're using. And it's it almost feels a bit uncomfortable. Um, and depending on how your drive plays, it may or may not set up like that for you. So past the shadow here is important. Down into the open fairway. Looking over that rock, you know you've got it in the right position. Second shot here, 5% playing three back and 0 0.5 bars of left spin so you're going to see how that's going to set me up very very close to to the rough here now i'm not exactly comfortable with this play these days but this shot was so money in this tournament that we played it in so keep that in mind i would probably recommend like a bar or two of right spin here playing it with the red ring on the right rough but you know i want to show you this because it's going to go in the hole and it is certainly an option for some players if you hit perfect and you adjust beautifully you should be fine um but practice these shots guys don't just assume that because you're watching a drop here in this video that you're guaranteed to get the drop in in live play it doesn't work like that okay but i want you to see how to do it baby come on we'll see you on number six <laughs> Hole number six, this one, you're really just playing for Eagle, unless you've caught, like, you know, EM9 or something. I've got the Titan and the extra mile, max top and max right. That'd be four and a half bars of top spin, two bars of right spin. And I know some of you are going to see all those little bars of side spin, and you're going to leave those comments. This is older footage. I don't actively play rookie tour right now, rookie tournaments, so... You know that a titan gives you two bars of side spin okay so we're bouncing it over the bunker here as you can see a little bounce and roll it on up tight and close to that left fairway but we do need to get a good amount of distance here so then second shot like i said distance this is a long one i'm setting it up with the big dog you'll see here as soon as i yeah there's there's no chance of like a really accurate you know second shot but i've got max two bars of left spin and about a bar a backspin if you're a lot further up you might need a little bit more um and if you're needing to use a bit of overpower just stick with that bar of backspin i got a ball to a ball and a half of left curl here you don't want to go too too much there are some bunkers up top here you'll see as we just go right by them there uh and we came a little bit close so just mind the bunkers but this should be an easy eagle if you just execute cleanly Pull number seven, and admittedly, I'm going to show you a very low level and conservative way to play here. Still a long hole, but you probably could do a little bit better than this Quasar. I decide that probably a Titan ball for most players to get it down to that second fairway would be a very good play here. However, I did elect to play this conservatively, and I'm going to show you how that works out. You got max top, max left spin here, and I would set it up, you know, try not to have the yellow ring quite so close to the rough. 
Um, but again, if you're in a headwind or something, that wouldn't necessarily be too bad. I'm going to use max left curl here with this club, which is like barely half a ball. And the idea being then that you're just going to bounce it on the first fair fairway here over this rough and roll it out as far as you can down the second fairway. What this does, though, is leaves you for a very long second shot. So due to that, I'm actually going to be using a big dog here. Now, if you had a really long drive, it's a different story. We might even be playing a rough bump to the pin. So otherwise, though, if you're playing conservatively, we're going to use that big dog. And I'm just going to bounce it to that small island fairway. One bar of backspin in even a reasonably aggressive cross tailwind here puts us in position beautifully. So half that red ring on the right there keeps us a little bit safe from great balls anyway. And you just want to hit this cleanly. And like I said, if you have a bigger, higher level situation here, we're probably going to be playing second shot rough bump. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, but there's more than one way to get this done. And from this position, you really do have a very straightforward red wedge. Not a wedge. You got a wedge to work with. And I've got the dart here. Now, I still play the dart or um, any of the other low-level wedges with the same technique as the Endbringer School. And, of course, I do recommend that if you have an Endbringer play that club, it should give you, you know, a great advantage over your opponent. So... You know, this is one of the ones where I don't have super duper modern footage to share with you. That's going to be incredibly insightful. But, you know, if you are like me and you do tend to play these holes a little bit conservatively anyway, um, this would be a good option. So, you know, it is what it is. We're still going to get this ball cleanly in the hole for Neagle. And uh, yeah, well, just about cleanly. We'll see you on number eight. Hole number eight, let's get this one for Shinobi. I'm setting up with a Titan ball and an extra mile, and I'm playing with one bar of top spin, one bar of left spin. And again, very fine margins here. Working with part of that yellow ring into the rough is always a scary thing to do. To alleviate that, you can certainly play this shot here with a rock or a quarterback, something with a nice bit of accuracy. You just want to make sure you do get enough distance up to the end of this fairway so that you'll have a nice reach on your second shot. But keep that in mind. There's more than one way to get it done. If you hit cleanly, perfectly here, especially with a nice wind that pushes us a bit away from that bunker, you should roll nicely up the center of this fairway. And if you do so, even with a low-level sniper, you should be able to reach just fine for your second shot. Second shot here, we're playing with, with this with two bars of topspin and 0.5 bars of left spin. I'm going to have the top of that blue ring touching the rough here. And we're basically doing like a second bounce rough bump. So two top, half left. We're going to pull it back a little bit, set it so that that second bounce is just at about, you know, just above halfway up that rough and got that ball guide just to the pin. This shot is so classic for me. I've played this one on stream quite a few times and had success here quite a few times as well. So I really believe that the same can be had for you. So practice this one. Sometimes the second shot plays 5%. Sometimes it might play 15 um, But all in all, this is really an excellent way to play this hole. Get a great outcome. Let's go, baby. We'll see you on number nine. Hold number nine, this is a spicy one to end the tournament, but as you can see, there's going to be so many albatrosses. I'm setting it up here with the with the kingmaker and a quarterback, three top, three right, and you see where that second bounce is and the ball guy just rolling out onto the fairway, and then we're right here by this tree, so keep an eye on that. I pulled 20% max there. Now, curl, about a ball, ball and a half, just outside to the right here, and the idea is, is that this is going to give us a bounce, and I'm not touching the rough at all, which you can, uh, and sometimes you'll clip it, but it might leave you a bit short. Keep that in mind. So work this drive out before you really commit to it. Second shot, if you've got enough distance, we bring the Kingmaker particularly because we need reach and we need a left spin. So three bars of left spin here, and I've got two bars of back spin. I'm actually going to play this with the half that white ring, just touching the rough on the bottom. You see kind of where we're set up then. And I'm literally just lining this one up directly to the pin. This has, I mean, been a great, great video for me to make, and I'm really looking forward to playing this in the tournament. I hope you did not forget to subscribe to the channel so we could maybe hang out a little more in the future. Guys, I'm playing live Golf Clash tournament play here on the channel, and you can always look for these videos before the tournament. So I hope you have a good time. I hope it goes well for you. Good luck to each and every one of you. Perfect ball is away, and you know what that means. This one, oh, I can't wait. I love Sequoia. I love these courses. This is going to be a good time, baby. Come on, get in the hole. Good luck out there in the Bigfoot Nine Hole Cup.